All right, good afternoon class. This is Mr. Zach Sarukian. We're gonna do another dynamic stretching warm-up today. Remember, there's a lot of benefits of dynamic stretching. It gets our blood flowing, our body moving, reduces the chances of an injury, and it's much more beneficial, like we've covered, than static stretching. So today, we're gonna to get into a little bit more of dynamic stretching, a little bit different. There's a bunch of different ways that we can do dynamic stretching. For this first one, okay, I'm gonna have my feet together, my toes together, I'm gonna slightly bend my knees, I'm gonna have my hand down, okay, and then we're just gonna really slightly get our knees straight. I know it's tough to see because I'm wearing khaki pants. Your knees are bent, and then you come up straight. Your knees are bent, your hands are under your toes the whole time, and you're coming up. This is getting our hamstrings loose, getting our calves loose, and getting our lower back ready, stronger, and strengthened. Like we've covered in some of the other dynamic warm-up videos, our hamstrings and our calves are very important. Some of the most important, if not the most important muscles when we run, and they're kind of like the engine to our human body, like an engine to a car, our hamstrings and our calves are the engine to our human body. All right, for our next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna be able to squat and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands forward and you're gonna walk with your hands into a plank. When I do this, the goal of a plank is to get your back really flat and straight. You should almost be able to balance a hot cup of coffee on your back when you do this. And now we're gonna come back Go slow, you're gonna walk it in, come up, try to keep your heels on the ground when you come back, the best of your ability, and we're gonna do it back. So same thing, start with my heat balls on my feet, my heels, my toes are on the ground, and I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna walk forward, okay? I don't really care if you do it with your fingertips, I don't really care if you do it with the palms of your hand, whatever feels more comfortable, but I want you really slowly to walk, and I really want you to hold this plank position for about four or five seconds. Come back, walk up, and let's do it one more time together, fully extending your body, coming forward and into a big plank position. Hold it one more time. You guys, everyone's doing great, and we're gonna come back. All right, for our third exercise, we're gonna spread our feet out a little bit more, and really slightly, we're going to stretch to our right side and then back to our left. And then we're going to come to our right, to our left, we're going to do feet together. So once again, we're going to do our right side very slightly, feet together, and we're going to do our left side. Just very slight motion, just getting ready, getting ready for the day, getting warmed up and just keeping our chest straight, our back straight. I'm looking forward, just get loose on both sides. Wanna hold each position for three to five seconds. We never wanna hold it too long. When we static stretch, they have you hold stretches for up to 30 seconds and that causes injury. So we wanna hold these stretches for three to five seconds each. For our next one, we're gonna need to get onto the floor now. So what's gonna happen is, so I'm gonna have one leg out and my bottom leg, so this is my left leg, is under me and it's out. So left leg, left arm, fully extended, parallel to the best of your ability, other arm is straight down. With this arm, I'm coming over the top and we're just getting our body, our chest, our back, our abdominals nice and loose as we do this. I know this looks a little silly, but this will get us ready to perform at max ability. And we can do that on the other side as well, uh, where you have your right foot out, right hand out, extend, and you do that on the other side of your body. For our final exercise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plank, or sorry, we're gonna plank, we're gonna, we're gonna squat, or no, we are, we're gonna plank, and we're gonna bring our right foot forward, so right foot to right hand forward, and we're gonna hold that just for three to five seconds. 
And then we're gonna go back into a plank. You're gonna hold the plank. And now with your left hand, you're gonna have your foot forward. And you're gonna have your left foot next to your left hand when you bring it forward. And you're gonna reverse. Do the same thing. Do this both three to five times on each side. And that's our dynamic form. Okay. 